how quickly do you think it is possible to mass produce uh, hydrogen boilers to uh, a reasonable cost where they can become cost competitive on the market? You've gone right in there, Robin. Get to the crux of the matter for, uh, with question number one. Um, OK, so uh, first question was around uh, timing. How long do we need to, uh, to move forward? Actually, uh, we installed the first 100% hydrogen boiler into a property outside of our facilities here yesterday. Uh, so that's a real milestone in, in our thinking. So the first 100% hydrogen boiler operating in a house um, went live uh, and was commissioned yesterday. Uh, in terms of timing, uh, the critical issue for us now is to get a decision from government. Is hydrogen going to be part of the decarbonized energy system in the future? Um, and we need that decision as early as we can possibly get it now, because although we've done a lot of early prototyping and um, we're fairly well advanced with our, our level of confidence and understanding of the technology, now we need to industrialize it for production and for manufacture. Um, so really, the earliest opportunity that we can get that decision now uh, is, uh, is really the next essential step for us. The program we're on with the, the uh, High for Heat program fun funded by Bayes is so the first demonstrator unit is gone in um, uh, yesterday, as I said. We're supplying further 100% hydrogen prototypes between now and the end of the year. Then next year, we move to some further demonstration projects at scale, so going into 100, 200, 300 properties. So that runs through to the end of 22, early 23. And at that point, we're hoping then government will take a, be ready then to take a decision so that we can start mandating 100 hydrogen-ready boilers from 2025. That's the sort of timescales that everybody is, uh, is talking. And then that gives us a couple of years to make the next step of investment into industrializing it so we can bring the production cost down. Which leads me to your other question, what, um, what sort of timelines are we? This, it, this then becomes a volume investment discussion. So I already alluded to earlier on, Martin said there's 1.6 million gas boilers sold in the UK each year. We sell over 500,000 of those. Producing those at scale, you know, we've, we've had 20 years to really improve the manufacturing efficiency uh, and all the other technology to make it as cheaply as we possibly can. And then you're starting right down here at low volumes again to build that back up. But I would say um, our view is we could get, if we got that decision and we start rolling out hydrogen boilers um, in significant volume from say 2025 onwards, in our view, within a matter of two to three years, volumes start to increase, we can bring the scale and the cost down to a level. And there's no reason why we can't get to the same level as a natural gas boiler. And then with further investments ongoing into the future, you know, even at least at the same level, maybe a little bit further. Marginally more, but generally we're expecting the same price level. 